and that and there was a ravine actually next to it. I don't know if you saw it in the video of what I had before, but there was a ravine over there. So let's go ahead. Oh, that's a naturally spawned four high sugarcane. That's cool. I I rarely see those actually, even though they are uh, pretty easy to find. Darn it! <laughs> I was hoping I could jump that gap, but I'm not gonna risk it. Oh come on! I could have had that. This is just I, I this is just not my luck with jumping today. Oh well, we'll venture towards the pyramid. Oh, there's another Enderman over there. I can try killing him and getting. Oh, I can use a creeper as a tool. Oh, that's actually fun to do. Is you um you set creepers to explode near Enderman and it does a lot of damage. So it just kills zombie. Get him out of my way. So you can, you're gone. Look at like that, like that. That was beautiful. I could not have done that any better. And just smack him till he dies. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. And I'm surprised that creeper didn't hit me. That was odd. Well, how did that not do any damage to me? Huh. Oh well. All right. Um, to the pyramid. So that sounds like a good idea. It's kind of weird now that I look about it that there's cacti everywhere. Like. There's just so much cacti. It is ridiculous. I get it's a desert and all, but I just feel like it's way too much. I get the dead shrubs. That makes sense. But, I don't know. That's just my personal feeling on the uh, cacti. The pyramid should be, like, right over... Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's by the swamp. So the swamp's over here. Pyramid's over here. Is this, like, a ravine entrance or something? Oh! It's a dungeon! Another dungeon! <laughs> Cool beans, bro. Oh, we got a music disc already. Look at that. I can make a jukebox. That's cool. And, uh, so let's go ahead and put a torch. Bucket, iron. Look at that. I'm just getting rich off this stuff. Just getting rich. Um, let's just go ahead and let's just disable this. I did magic. I performed magic. Oh, I did it again. I'm good at performing magic. Look at that. I'm good at that. I'm so good at that. Look at that. I'm so I'm a, I'm a, I should be a magician. I should be a professional magician. A magician. I cannot say words. Words do not agree with me. <laughs> I have the the typical friend that is the Grimber Nazi troll, and he likes to do the whole your versus your thing. Oh, look at cows and beef. I can do the beef swap now. For emeralds, at least. And then maybe get something decent out of these trades. <sighs> Man. I've had a rough day at work. Oh, it goes two. Let's see what you'll give me. Oh, leather. I need those for books. Now that they added that to the book recipe. Kind of stinks, but oh well. Kind of makes the game a little more difficult. It also gives leather a practical use now that you have a, uh, you have to actually use it for books. What kind of stunk before it was that once you uh, got iron, leather was basically pointless. Uh, so like you would have just stashes of leather in your chest, and there was nothing you could do with it. So basically, the whole point of, you know, having that was pointless. <laughs> so it'd be more just a kind of decoration piece than anything. So. I'm glad that they changed that, uh, as much as it kind of stinks to have leather now. So, anyway, that's... Oh, and also the uh, book and quill is kind of nice for adventure map uh, adventure map makers. That's going to be really nice. Although I'm not going to make... I don't have any adventure maps I, I'm going to make. Um, I don't know whether I can do anything with that, but I would rather make a co-op puzzle map, if anything, because I just like redstone circuitry and all the complicated puzzle stuff and... All those little things, I, I kind of like that a lot better. So we're just chopping this wood, that way I can, uh, you know, use it for regular planks. Because I, I am a fan of uh, what should we call it? Uh, oh wait, that's I just need one sapling. Okay, good enough. But uh, I am a fan of whatever the the dark wood, uh, the dark uh, the spruce. I want to say spruce wood. I am a fan of that color. It's just uh, 
I don't know, it's just something about, since I've used this color wood so much, that it just, I, I know, it's kind of aesthetically pleasing now to my eye to see this bright colored-ish wood on everything. But I, I'm curious to see actually what they'll throw in for 1.4, I mean, because everything that they had thrown in here, I was not... I, w I was completely surprised. I was not going to guess that they'd do any of this stuff. Except for the cocoa beans thing. I knew they'd implement that again someday, because otherwise it was just freaking impossible to get cocoa beans, legitly. Um, and also, brown wool was basically almost insane to get. And I I'm kind of glad that they changed it and put that back. Oh, an apple. I can make golden apples once I have enough nuggets. I think I think there's enough saplings. But I want to cut this one down and get a full snack of... Uh, Oh, it was coal and stuff down there. Oh, let's go ahead and we're going to go down there in a second once I collect all this. Uh, actually, screw it. We'll go down now. Oh, is that lava? Oh, it's redstone too. I wonder how far down that goes. Cowbunga! Let's get this coal first. Uh, Alright, I don't have a broken pick yet. Let's just go get this coal first. That'll be helpful. I want one more diamond so that way I can make an enchantment table. I will have to go get with the bucket and um, show you guys um, what I'm talking about with the nether portal. How you can make a nether portal without uh, using a diamond pickaxe. If you if you could, if you already figured it out, uh, good for you because I did not know about this trick uh, for the longest time. I always thought you had to do it a really. You always had to go with diamonds and get you know pickaxes and mine it and place it and all that stuff. I always thought you had to do it that way. But ever since I kind of looked at it, and then I kind of looked at it from a distance, I just kind of thought about it, and I was just like, you know, what if you did it this way? And I was like, ah, that makes sense that you can do it this way. So let's go ahead. Oh, more coal. See, now there's a real practical use to mining coal now that you get XP. Because now that I, I can kind of, like, head back, and I can already, like, almost fully enchant a diamond pick. So I think this whole coal thing is great, and it kind of increases the pace of the game. Instead of having you to take forever to get to level 50 and then make an enchantment table and all that stuff, it's so much more fast paced and I love it. I think it was a great idea for them to add different ways of getting XP. Definitely changes the game up also. So this is, oh my god, this is a great ravine. Dude, how far down does that go? Wow. That's all I have to say. Wow. That's pretty awesome. Uh, okay. There's nothing back here, but let's light this up. Um, is there any way I can get down safely? Oh, I can get down there. Yeah! Okay, cool. Redstone! Yeah, baby! Me and my redstone. You can always use redstone. I'm really... I, I'm... I now... Also, another interesting fact beforehand is that before, when I was a Minecraft newbie, when I collected redstone, I had no idea how to use it. I was completely clueless about what to do with it. So I would just collect it, and then I would have chests full of it, but I would have no clue what to do with it. So basically, I'd make all these, like, torches and things like that. I, I basically would only make torches and uh, dust. I mean, the, the first thing I did with redstone when I first found it, I just placed it all over the ground next in front of my door. I did not do anything with it. I had no clue it was kind of mimicking like electricity in a way. So that that was kind of interesting fact about me and uh, whatever you want to call it, uh, redstone. I had no idea. Um, let's see. Let's go for the redstone first. Couldn't think of what to go for first. Let's just go for this first. I like how I've already found a ravine already. This is this is a fantastic seed. I'm not kidding. This is a great seed. So, I, I props to Mojang for making this a great seed. Uh, okay, place this around so that way I can walk easily. Come on. Oh, got it. There you go. I need to mine some cobblestone so that way I can place some stuff. Let's just go ahead and just... Wait, what, what height am I at? Oh, whoops, that's a screenshot. I am I am at diamond height already, so I could come across diamonds easily already. I wonder how fast this series will actually go. 
Oh, look at that new collection mechanic working. That's actually really nice and helps with the lag a lot. Again, love you, Mojang, for... Or Mo Yang. I, I think it's Mo Yang. I want to say Mojang, but I think it's Mo, Mo Yang. Love them for actually implementing such a feature. Let's go ahead and combine this. Just make this like a whole walkway. Close that off. Uh, I don't see anything over that way. And also one thing that's kind of weird is uh, in the necessary gaming server, uh, we have so many diamonds. It is absurd how much we have. <laughs> and our, our, our literal trick for our finding for us finding that many diamonds is to literally go to the bottom of the map and just dig a tunnel. That is what we have been doing the whole time. It's kind of odd, but yet that's how we've been doing it. Okay, come on. Nope. Nope. Big old bucket of nope. Oh. You're kidding me. And that's all going to go in the w lava. Come on. Oh. You're kidding me, right? I found so much. And I had... I had a bucket. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, that sucks. That really sucks. You know what? S screw it. I'm not, after that failure, I am ah. Uh, uh, after that failure, I just want to go home and yeah. I am going to go right in my house and I am going to end this cuz that was just Oh my god, that was so much of a failure. Actually, I wonder if I can just go bolt for my stuff. I'm going to bolt for my stuff and see if I can get it. I do really doubt I'll get it, but I'm going to try my very hardest to get it. So, for Sparta, we are going to run like crazy towards the ravine. And it is becoming even more nighttime fun. It's like I actually need that right now. I really don't because I want to go get my stuff. Oh god. There's a creeper right here. And here comes all the mobs spawning. Great. Oh my god. It, the world hates me right now. <laughs> oh my god. No. Ah, uh, man. That sucks. Oh well. Let's see how much farther to the ravine. They need to fix that whole rendering glitch. I've had that happen so much. It's kind of odd. Alright, uh, the pyramid should be this way on the... Oh, whoopsies. Stop. Keep running. Keep running, character. It should be this way. And, yep, there's the pyramid. Uh, I really doubt my stuff is still alive at this point, but... Might as well give it a shot. It's raining in a desert biome, or is this beach biome? Oh, it's beach. Okay. I like how the designated... The difference between beach and desert is, like, slim to none. Like, the real difference between them is basically non-existent. Okay, go away, spider. I don't want to deal with you right now. Um, no, don't push me in. I want to fall in my, my own accord. Oh, that hurt. Oh, man. Ah, oh, hey, look, I see my XP. I see all my stuff. <gasps> the bucket, yay. Oh, no, 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 not cool. Go away. I have a sword. Oh, God. Okay, just collect all my stuff. Um, how do I get out of here? How do I get out of here? <laughs> Am I really going to have to stack? Uh, it looks like I'm stacking. Oh, uh, come on. That sucks. Okay, come on. Stack. Stack to get out of here. <laughs> stack, stack, stack. Uh, this way. I got five levels out of my 21. That sucks. You know what, just because I, I know I know it hurts me, but whatever. I couldn't find my pork. And I'd rather have myself healing and then hunger a little bit than anything else. Alright, I need some more cobble so I can actually get out of here. So, you know, I have a bucket and I can go to the nether. That's good enough for me. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. This is turning into a complete disaster. And that is what makes this so good. Oh, is gold? Is that gold? Oh, gold. Oh my god, I found gold. That's three, four, five, six pieces. Oh, cool. Oh. 
Nice. Okay, that's good to know. Um, iron over here with some deadly lava and more gold. So let's get this gold. Two pieces. Good enough for me. Get the iron because I need it. I need to make as much armor as possible and not die constantly. So we'll do that. Get some coal for the XP. Uh, yeah, we'll just place it on the corners. Alright. Ah, no. Okay, there you go. Go with this. Get this coal so I can get the XP back. Also so I can get the coal, because I kind of need the coal. For my furnaces and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and get this. So it turns out I'm not ending the video where I thought I was. <laughs> this is what's so addicting about Minecraft. I find it that I just constantly want to keep playing the game. Even though there will be failure like that. Where I'd, oh, thank God I saw all my torches. Oh, even though there'll be a massive failure like the one I just had, you still want to keep playing. There's just something that draws you to keep playing the game. And that is why I consider Minecraft an awesome game. Because it is just that addicting. Oh my God, this is huge amount of coal. Huge amount of coal. I'll probably have a stack of coal when I get back. Although it kind of stinks with the whole coal XP thing, that you're now getting very little XP, uh, but the amount of XP I'm getting right now kind of invalidates my points. Wonderful. <laughs> uh, but no, uh, the before, in the snapshot at least, uh, the amount of, not the one I was playing, but the very first snapshot they introduced it in, you got, you got like three balls of XP, um, or three orbs, what do you want to call it? Um, you had three orbs of XP, uh, per coal that you mined, I think, and that was a lot. All right, let's use iron. Screw it. There you go. And I, I'm kind of, I don't know whether to say I'm fond or not of the new graf gravel texture. I really don't know whether to say I am or not, uh, because I've, I'm just so used to that old texture that putting that new texture in there is kind of confusing. So, I don't know. I, I have, I've yet to come up with my own conclusion whether I like the gravel texture or not. For now, I, I'll just say, oh my god, that's a lot of iron right here. Okay, it's good. That's good for me, though. Good. I like I like lots of iron. It is good for me. So let's mine this all up. And this will be a lot of iron that will be smelted, and I have a huge level boost from this. So am I almost to the surface yet? Oh, look at you. You're stuck. Isn't that lovely? Let's go ahead and repair these swords real quick. Ha ha! Suck it, Skelly. You had a bad spawn. Uh, I blame the spawn system. The spawn system was terrible. Ha! Look who shot their buddy now, punk. Oh, that's right, you shot your buddy. There you go. Level 9. Oh yeah, there you go. This is turning out to be a good trip. Again. But I said that before, and then I died. So let's just not let's not get too ahead of myself. Die and get this iron. Why did I say die? I don't remember. I don't realize why I said that. I guess I'm in that mood of just saying words and whether they make sense or not is up to my brain. And I'm actually interesting fact, I'm going on vacation tomorrow, so this will probably be split into two parts. And uh this will probably be the latter half of it, and now I'm going to head home and get out of here. Because I am tired of being here. So, let's get out of here. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Well, we'll make a platform here at the top of the water. Right there. There you go. I have a nice platform I can get on. So I can then uh, do this. Put it around the, plant, uh, around the water. And then get up somehow. Let's just go this way. <laughs> now let's punch the dirt out and get out of here. We really should have brought a shovel. I don't know why I didn't bring a shovel, but probably should have brought a shovel. So let's go ahead. Oh, grass. Ah, oh, the surface. I missed it so. All right, let's get the. Actually, let's get the rest of this wool before I forget. So let's go ahead and get the rest of this. Do that, and I will come back here. Um off camera and mine a whole bunch of this pyramid or on camera depending uh whether i feel like recording me mining sandstone a lot but 
it's kind of nice how this actually will save me from make having to make a lot of sandstone and steps and half slabs. Oh yeah, that's nice to have. Uh, this we'll take the stairs because those are easy to to get. I'll take the smooth stuff because that's actually nice to have too. I don't know. I'm just like getting all of it now. It went from being like, oh, I want this one thing to now, I want everything. Oh, bread. Yay, I can eat that. No, go away, please. I, I'm eating bread here. I'm eating. You don't interrupt someone when they're eating. That's very rude of you, spider. Get out of here. You're very rude. I do not appreciate your rudeness. Alright, let's sprint. Let's get back to home. And jump and get away from the spiders. Ah, run, run, run. Run, run, run as fast as you can. Can't catch me on the gingerbread man. I should have my skin be the gingerbread man right now. That would be so ironic if it was. But alas, it is not. And I am just running to get away from these guys. Ah, keep running, keep running. Oh, fun. Uh, oh, nice cross. Never knew Minecraft was uh, religious. I mean, it isn't, but... It's just I I know that happens randomly and I know it's happened randomly but again it's just coincidental. So let's go ahead and get back to the village. I'm sure they the villagers have missed me so much, and I've conquered their town. And also an interesting another interesting fact about uh, our server home is that it was actually uh, a village before uh, we took it over and just started dominating the entire town. And all of our villagers died. So. Yeah. <laughs> we killed everyone. No, I'm just kidding. They ended up just kind of disappearing. Which I don't know how, but they just did. So they just. They all disappeared, and you know, that's all she wrote. So. <laughs> good enough to know. I lost my stack of wood. I just realized that. Ugh. Oh, that sucks. That really kind of sucks. Well, let's get this iron smelting. And uh, I will go ahead and end this video off here. And if you guys have enjoyed, please leave a rating down below. Uh, it definitely helps a lot, especially since this is a kind of a newer series going on here. Uh, if you guys enjoy, leave a rating, all that stuff, and I'll catch you guys later.